So this is the Sentry Arms Draco, imported from Romania, just like my Watcher 1063. See how we like the Mini AK. Definitely a fireball, not quite as accurate. Welcome back to Sawtooth Tactical, your source for Second Amendment news, gun reviews, and more. And today, we've got a small AK. <laughs> so you guys know how much I love the AK. I have a 1967 Wasser 1063 Romanian Kujir. This is a Romanian Draco, made in the same factory, imported by Century Arms. There's a lot of similarities between the two AKs you see in front of you, but also some differences. I want to talk about what I think something like this is good for. So I believe any day that you get to go shoot an AK is a good day. And so I've got a bunch of this and I've got a bunch of this. Ammo Incorporated 762 by 39. Steel cased 762. It's great ammo. It's perfect for feeding AKs. This was loaned to me by a good friend. So thank you very much in order to do this video. And the first thing I noticed about this Draco is how similar it is to my other AK. Being that they're both Romanian imported AKs, they have many, many similarities. The fit and finish is similar. It's got that like Parkerized kind of dull finish to it. The one difference I did notice is that the Draco actually has these dimples at the magwell, whereas the Wasser historically does not so that is one difference that i noticed but the same rock and lock takes the same magazines i ran a bunch of my own magazines in this today worked great same kind of sight you do have a fully enclosed front sight there but it is uh, adjustable the exact same way as this so the draco does have a threaded barrel so you could take this uh Thread protector off and put on any kind of break, like a slant break, like what is traditionally on an AK rifle or anything else. I've actually got another break that I think would be really good on this. Although this small AK shoots fireballs, like literal fireballs. And with a break on it, you'd probably get even more fireball, even more sound, but less recoil which is important when you're shooting something this small with a round this big. As any AK should be, this thing was perfectly reliable through, like I said, Tula, as well as the Ammo Incorporated 762 by 39 We had zero issues with it whatsoever. It does have the Tapco G2 trigger, which for an AK trigger is not bad. It's got a lot of take up and it's a little gritty, but it's not heavy. There's your brake. Reset. Brake. It's not bad at all, but I gotta admit, Ever since putting the ALG trigger in my other AK, I do feel spoiled and I feel like this one would benefit greatly from an ALG trigger. I just think that that is, I mean, honestly, every AK should have an ALG in it. But other than that, this is very basic. It's very AK. It is simple, like all AKs should be. The action is actually relatively smooth. The safety is pretty stiff, just like mine was when I first got it. Um, it does everything an AK should do. Although, I gotta admit, I think maybe bringing this out and bringing the full length AK rifle out today was maybe not fair. So 
the reason why I say it probably wasn't fair to compare this to this is because shooting something like this with no stock or brace, it's, it's just obvious how much harder it is to be accurate with it. You can be very accurate with an AK despite what people tell you, but a lot of that accuracy comes from being able to shoulder the weapon while you're looking down your sights. With this thing, just holding it out in front of you and trying to line up your sights, after each shot, it does recoil significantly, being that it's got such a short barrel and it's shooting 762 by 39 your sight picture does change drastically while you're trying to shoot. And so it's hard to shoot it fast and to be accurate at the same time. Whereas that is not difficult with an AK with a stock. Any excuse to shoot the AK is a good excuse. So what would I do if I owned this or any Draco? Because I do think it's a very cool gun. I just like AKs in general. I think they have a very satisfying thump as far as the recoil impulse. 762 by 39 is a hard hitting round and it actually performs very well out of shorter barrels like this. So you don't really have to worry so much about drop in velocity and terminal ballistics like you do with 5.56 and shooting that out of a very short barrel. So in that way, a 7.62x39 AK with a shorter barrel like this makes lots of sense. What would I do if I had this though? Honestly, I would pay the 200 bucks, I would SBR it, and I would put a folding triangle stock on it and kind of have the crink at home, if you know what I mean. So obviously not a real crink, a crink is 545 by 39 this one obviously runs 762 by 39, but I think that you could make a very cool, very usable weapons platform just by having that foldable stock on here. The nice thing about the AK is that your recoil system is all enclosed within the receiver, so you don't need a buffer tube like you do on an AR. So you can use folding stocks and so even if your stock was folded, you could still fire this the exact same way that you can right now. But you'd be able to whip that stock out, shoulder it, and be able to be much more accurate at greater distances or just much faster on your target at whatever distance. So I think that if I was going to get a Draco, I would definitely SBR it. Hopefully this pistol brace rule thing goes away because, you know, Palmetto State Armory has those folding triangle braces that look just like the folding triangle stocks but if your weapon is classified as a pistol then you don't have to worry about SBRing it and being put on the NFA list. If you don't care about that and two, you have $200 to throw away or whatever just so that you can have permission from the government to be able to shoulder a weapon system that should be shouldered well, then do that. I think, like I said, if this was mine, I would SBR it. Or I'd get one of those triangle braces if this pistol race rule does finally get beat in the court. I always enjoy being able to bring you guys new guns on the channel. And this one just kind of happened to happen all of a sudden today. This just showed up. I didn't have a whole lot of time to plan out a video. And so just kind of went to the range with some friends, got some footage, and these are my thoughts now about the Draco after shooting it and shooting my AK side by side. That's what all three of us did out there today. We each shot, you know, a mag through this, a mag through that, and uh, compared them. And we had a bunch of fun. But the general consensus was that it was much easier to shoot accurately with a stock. And that's why I think if I owned this, I would put a stock on it. And if that meant that I had to SBR it, well, so be it. I feel like that would make it so much more of a usable weapon system. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, tell me if you have a Draco, how you feel about shooting it without being able to shoulder it, or if you have a crank or any AK, but specifically maybe a short-barreled AK, and if you have uh, SBR'd it, 
Let me know what your experience has been because I think that this would be a very, very cool short barreled AK with a triangle folding stock on it. I kind of want to get one and do that now just because I think it would be a very, very cool gun. So I do think that without the stock, it makes it a little bit less usable in a real world situation. It's just not as easy to be accurate with. But let me know what you guys think. Also, please subscribe to Sati Tactical. Give me a like. And from Sati Tactical, stay strapped or get clapped.